<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and here we are yet again with another PS3 exploit version 3, otherwise known as Han, tutorial here. I'm going to be showing you all how you can install PlayStation Network specific packages on your console. This is going to show you taking the package itself, ending up getting it prepared with the license and everything, resigning it and installing it to the system. Now I've done a couple videos on this prior. The first one you need to watch in regards to doing this tutorial here is you must watch my hand tutorial or you need to have an understanding of how it all works. I have a tutorial going start to finish with a all stock PS3 getting it set up with hand and dumping some of your necessary files that you will need for this tutorial. My previous tutorial I did showed you how to take a Blu-ray disc based game, convert it into a package file, sign it and install it. I'm going to be doing this method as well though because this method has actually proven to be much more reliable than my game conversions. I've gotten some games to work by converting them to a signed package for Han, but I'm still running into issues here and there and all of the PSN games I have tried have worked just fine. And this works for any of the PSN packages that you can install on here. So PS1, PS2 games, PS3 games, um, themes I'm sure, and PSP minis and PSP games I'm sure will work on here as well too, if they are available. Now I myself have only done game installs, but they've all been successful and there's a few gotchas that I want to go over with you all on here. So with this, let's go ahead and move on to our computer and I'll tell you what all you need. Alright, so now that we're at the PC, first of all, I would highly recommend you have a flash drive available that has been formatted to FAT32. This is going to be to transfer your package files over. On top of that, you are also going to need to get a hold of the package files themselves. You will also need to get a hold of license files that will be in a wrap format. So your game and your license should look something like this. As you can see, this is my game, it's in package format, and this is the license for it. It's a one kilobyte file, and it's in a wrap format. I will not be covering how to obtain these at all, so you are on your own for that. I just cannot facilitate with that there. However, these are two games that I do own physically and digitally, so I am going to be just using this more as a demonstration here. The next thing you are also going to need is you will need your console, ACT, and IDPS files. I will not show you how to get them on here because they are console specific and I do show it in my hand tutorial. Near the end, once you get everything set up, I show you how to dump your ACT and IDPS files. You must dump these off your console and these will be required to get your games to work. If you do not have them, they will not work. If you have the files from a different console, they will not work when you install these games. You have to dump these two files from the console you are going to be installing to. I cannot stress that enough. Next up, we're also going to need a couple of downloads. First of all, go to the link down below in the description and download PS3 Exploit Resigner. You can go here and click on the source code zip to download this. Next up is Package Linker, and this is only going to be if you want to transfer games over your network or you have games that are going to be bigger than four gigabytes in size. Uh, this is what I would recommend doing. So you can use this and just download it right here. Now if you are going to be doing this, I highly, highly, highly recommend having your network wired. So that means connect your PC wired to your network and connect your PS3 wired to your network as well too. If you do it wireless, you will probably run into very slow speeds and issues. So it's best to do this wired. But I'm going to show you both install methods doing it from a USB drive or doing it from package linker. So now that we have our game or games, we have the ACT and IDPS files and we have the two applications. This is what we're going to need. First of all, again, since you do have your ACT and IDPS files, make sure you keep them on hand here. And then for your game or whatever you're using, I'm going to be using a game here. Let me pick Metal Gear Solid. I end up finding this out the hard way. Make sure you end up naming your files appropriately. First of all, I would recommend just keeping both of these the same. So your package file, it might come in a really large jumble of random characters and numbers. Uh, then your wrap file will come in something like this. And what I do is just to clean up a little bit, I just click on the wrap file, I copy out what this is, and then I paste it onto the PKG. 
so that way they still have you know their format uh, but they're also a lot cleaner I noticed and I just tested this but I noticed if I end up renaming these let's say like I rename these to MGS PS1 they will not work when you install them but if you keep them with this name they do work I honestly don't know why that's the case but I've just noticed that from my multiple tests if I do other type of naming conventions they don't work when installing them however if I keep this naming convention which I like and it keeps it you know uniform and standard enough it seems to do fine with installing so make sure you have these available now what you need to do is take your ps3 exploit resigner extract it right here and once it's extracted go and get your act and idps files let's copy out both of them go to ps3 exploit resigner input and paste them right here now you need to move them into their appropriate folders take act dat and move it into act dat take idps hex and move it into idps hex and now we need the package files and the wrap files so go back and let's go ahead just get the both of these here for this purpose i'm just going to move them out so get your game with your package file with your wrap file and let's paste them here and then pretty self-explanatory it'll absolutely help as well if you can enable file extensions on windows if you're doing it here but take your pkg file drop it into pkgs take your wrap file drop it into wraps and that's it so i'm going to do this with a second game as well too i'm going to be doing this with metal gear solid because i want to show you all this with a playstation game because with playstation games and with some other possible package files you will run into a second step which i'm going to utilize and show you all here so to do this what you can do is go to just double check in your input check that act dat is in the act dat folder check that idps hex is in the idps hex folder check that your packages are in your packages folder and check that your wrap files are in your wraps folder now that you have all of that set up double click resign windows and let it do its magic it's going to go in and resign everything so that's it there so go ahead and just press any key to continue and now you can go to output packages and as you can see bef before you freak out yes there are three packages even though we put in four files so each package is going to get resigned to a signed package file however i noticed that if you put in multiple license files they're going to go into one riff installer package so you can just install it from there even though it's only one file both of our licenses are in here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move all of these out of here and dump them out right here and that's it so now at this point you need to work on getting these transferred over so this is easy enough i'm actually going to be doing this again both methods because i'd like to show you all this so for my ps1 game i'm just going to put this on my flash drive so i'm just going to move it and just dump it onto the root of your flash drive that is where you need to put it if you're going to be copying it over there now if you want to transfer over your network let's say you just you don't want to use a flash drive you want to be lazy or you have a really big file that's fine what you can do is use package linker so first of all make a folder and decide on where you want to host your packages out of because you're going to be adding to that folder in the future so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new folder here call it pkg and take the files that you want to transfer over your network and host out of and just move them into your package folder and now take package linker and also move it into there once you have all that set up right click on package linker run it as administrator if it gives you this error just say yes now yes to export files okay to extract files you want to say yes to use the built-in server continue with apache installer and just install that all you have to do is do next install and let it do its thing
Now that that's done, press finish. You do want to re-sign, so say yes. And when this comes up, look for package signed and press the enter button key twice. And as you can see, these two have been saved. So press OK. Now this will come up. You want to just minimize this here because this is your web server that's running. Press OK to server running. Package linker now comes up. And in the midst of all this, you might also get something from your firewall program saying that you need to allow access to this. Go ahead and allow access. That's totally fine. So now just minimize that, but keep everything running. And you're going to have this new package list PKG file. For this, all you need to do is copy it, go to your flash drive, and paste it to the root of your flash drive. Now that you've transferred everything over, eject your flash drive, go over to your PS3, and let's get to installing these files. All right, so now that you're back at your PS3, go to hand toolbox and hand enabler. Press yes to close browser. And now that that's done, I'm going to show you all how to do a local install. So you need to go to package manager, install package files, standard, and pick your game. So this is a PlayStation game and I picked this one specifically because it's going to be a little bit weird when you install it. Just check this out. So press X and it's not going to give you any prompt for the install, it's just going to say please wait. So if this just stays at the please wait screen, don't panic, just wait a few minutes. If you have a flash drive with an LED light, you'll be able to see the LED indicator on that. Mine is currently flashing, which, which means it's reading the data off of it. So just wait at this please wait screen. Alright, so once that's done, it will just back you out of here. You can go back. Now go back again, go up to PlayStation Network content, and as you can see, it has copied over to the system. So now just press X, and it will now install the game. Once that's done, you can press circle. And as you can see, the game now shows up, but it will not work because we don't have a license for it yet. So once that's all done though, you can go back to Package Manager, PlayStation Network content, hit triangle, and delete that out. So that way you don't have the install data just sitting on your system. And that's that. As you can see, the game is still sitting right here, just fine. So now what about a network install? So to do a network install, what you need to do is go to Package Manager, make sure everything is still running on your computer and your computer is on, go to Install Package Files, Standard, install the package list PKG that you created, and when you go back to Package Manager, there should be a new feature there. You already saw it on mine because I had it, but there should be a new feature called install packages from web server. So quick thing here, if you ever decide that you want to change where your packages are hosted, what you need to do is run package linker out of a different directory. It will create a new package list file. You need to copy that onto a flash drive, install it the same way, and restart your console, and then it will update that path. However, let's say you end up adding more games. So if you add more games to the existing folder, what you would do is you add the games, you run package linker, it will create a new file. And from here, you could actually just go to refresh package list, say yes, it will refresh it like so, and that's that. And this one is actually a older list, so I will demonstrate it here. What I'm going to do is restart the console, and it should populate it with the new list. So now that that's been restarted, all you need to do is go to Hand Toolbox, enable Hand again, press Yes, and go back to Package Manager, go to your web server, and as you can see, I'm now missing one, and these have all changed because I end up changing the names on them. So that's all you need to do. So now if you're installing just a regular game, you can go here, press X, press X again, and download it. It will now download the entire package over to your system, and then it will install it. And that's it, so just go back. And the last thing you need to install are your licenses. So open this up, go to wherever your licenses are, and grab this file here, the package riff installer signed. Say method. 
and that's it. So now you can fully go back, and as you can see, this is the game that we installed in the previous tutorial, this is the PS1 game we installed, and this is the PS3 game that we installed. So let's go ahead, try out Metal Gear Solid. And as you can see, it is booting up so far. Let's go ahead and wait to get in game with this as well too. So as you can see, press start button, new game. Oh, I have to press circle here. Whatever we're gonna pick, sure, hard mode. And there we go. As you can see, we are in game at this point. So I can even hold on this button. There's everything. I can switch up discs if I want to. Yeah, we are good now. So that's about all you need to do. So we have a perfectly good PS1 game working. I'm just going to quit out of this game. And let's do the same with the PS3 game, which is Flower. So as you can see, this is working just fine as well too. We're able to get in here. Let's load up this flower. Perfect. And that's about it for this. So we were able to take our games and license files, turn them into signed package files, install them, and they're all working the first time, as you can see right here. This all on the PS3. Absolutely fantastic. So this, in my opinion, is the better method because I've noticed there's been so far with me a 100% success rate. The only time this did not work was when I ended up renaming them to like Flower and MGS PS1. I noticed when there's names such as that, these games did not work. You would essentially install everything and then at that point it would say that you need to renew your license in order to play the game. Uh, however, as you can see, these are playing just fine, so that is the big gotcha on here in my opinion. You will need to go in and just name your game and your license file appropriately, and also make sure they are matching, but if you name them to like regular names, like such as the actual game names, I notice they tend to not work. I don't know why, that's just what it is, so hopefully that tip also helps out. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone, if you enjoyed this video a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.